Well, here we are at the Robertson County Courthouse, and it's time to set the clock back one hour for daylight savings time. And uh, so I just thought I would uh, give everybody a first-hand view. It is a bit of an arduous climb up there, and here it starts with five steps. Um, not that big a deal. But uh, give everybody a first-hand view of uh, the beautiful courthouse and uh, the clock mechanism itself. So in through security we go. Down the main corridor. As you can see, the building is quite nice. If you hadn't had a chance to come down and look at it, I recommend that you do. And um, so uh, down the hall, through the door, and we find ourselves looking at staircase number one. I had to receive some special training to be able to actually climb this staircase here. And um, and then after I uh, finished training for that, they said, well, there's another one here, about 20 feet. Um, this is where it begins to test your fear of heights. If you have any at all, this is probably uh, not the job for you. And uh, so I'm holding the phone with uh, one hand and um, filming with the other. So I hope you appreciate the fact that I'm risking my life so you can get a first-hand view of the courthouse clock. Um, push this little lever right here. And it opens up the trap door into the dark zone of death. Luckily, the light switch is lit. And um, there's a look down. If I were to fall, I guess it probably wouldn't feel too good. And um, so we're now starting to enter into the inner guts of the building. And there's ladder number two. This one's not too bad. This one's um, probably about 10 feet or so. I had them install some special handles for me uh, here and there so I could get a better grip. And uh, they were gracious enough to do that. And um, I probably thought, what a big coward! And uh, at any rate, um, so now we're um, at the level directly above the courtroom. And uh, there's a look down. And um, so underneath those, uh, those vents are actually feeding uh, fresh oxygen to um, everyone in the uh, trial room. And there I am now, as you can see, you kind of have to be a gymnast, climbing up and over and around. And um, uh, so this uh, little opening here is actually a little more narrow than even the previous one. And um, so now I'm moving up to the third level. This is the shortest ladder. This one's only about six feet in height. And um, up we go. And now we're in the bell tower area. And uh, yeah, pretty good view. You can see the net there. That's to keep the uh, pigeons out. It seems to have worked pretty effectively. And um, pretty good view from here. And there's ladder number four. And there's the bell. I'm right underneath it. If the bell had gone off when I was underneath it, um, it would have killed me. And, no, I'm kidding. Uh, but there's the hammer, the striker. And uh, there's a Nice shot of the bell from the side. And now up the final ladder into the clock room itself. There's a nice view I would have on the way up the ladder. And uh, now I got another trap door. Now this trap door is even skinnier than the other two. So um, luckily I am slender so I can fit right through there. And into the clock room we go. And uh, there she is. I spent about three months up here rebuilding this thing. Um, she turned out pretty nice. And uh, E. Howard, this was their workhorse clock. This was uh, one of their most reliable. It's probably the easiest to find, uh, most used. Those teeth there are the uh, counters for the uh, bell chime. And each one of those is deeper, representing a, uh, um, a, l a farther along in the day. So the deepest groove there was 12 o'clock. And um, so there's the four drive shafts that feed each one of the faces, which are six feet tall. I can easily stand up in the face of each clock. Uh, so they're pretty good sized faces. And considering this building, you know, the clock tower and the clock was put up in 1925, this is a pretty prestigious clock. We should be very proud as a county to have such a beautiful clock mechanism. There are the gears that separate for the hour and the minute hand. And um, so... Um, I'll go in here and I adjust this, pop this little lever out, the screw out, and that separates the drive mechanism from the counting part of the mechanism. And then I can adjust the clock. 
And there's a ladder there, so we're going to climb up this final ladder, which is going to take us up to the tippy-tip-top roof. There's the uh, teeter-totter. That's what rings the bell. That cord goes down there, pulls from the mechanism, and the other end of it goes down, actually, to the bell hammer itself. And um, up I go. And uh, now we are on the tippy-tip-top, probably just about the highest place in the entire county right now. And uh, some pretty spectacular views up here. But like I said, if you're afraid of heights, this is probably not where you want to be. There's the, there's the light we all see on the top of the courthouse. And um, there it is, the view. That's Main Street down there. That's where Maddie's Hot Dogs used to be. There's uh, Springfield Baptist Church. And um, there's that church there. That's the one that's got the hoof prints from World War I or whatever war that was. I don't know. Howard can clarify that. And the uh, Howard was a history teacher, Howard Bradley, the county mayor. So I'm sure he'll leave a comment. That church right there, Howard. What, um, what war was it where they had the horses inside the church on the floor leaving marks that you can still see to this day? And um, there's Springfield Baptist Church again. And here's a uh, suicide view. If you decided to jump off the building to your death, that's the last thing you would see. I'm not going to do that for you because there is a limit to what I'm interested in doing for your entertainment. But uh, as you can see, it's a pretty cool... It almost looks like you could slide down, but I'm not going to try it. There's the Robertson County Times building there. And... Um, pretty uh, spectacular views. Uh, I'll uh, do a nice slow scan and see if you can see... Uh, if you happen to um, live close enough, maybe you can see your home here. The sun is in kind of a weird spot, so it's a little glary, but I was able to see my house for sure. It's no problem there. And by the way, while I'm up here, I get like 5,000 Wi-Fi signals. Um, so if you want free Wi-Fi, uh, the top of the courthouse clock is a great place to do it. Of course, um, it might be a bit tricky getting up there. but um, So um, probably very few people have actually seen... Uh, the county from this vantage point. And uh, so I just thought it might be nice to share it with you all. And uh, just there's the prison there. And the water tower. And that's Fifth Avenue going up that way there. And um, I'll just try to do a nice slow pan here. So that's Main Street going up that way. You keep going up that way and you'll find the uh, bridge repair work where they're replacing that uh, bridge up there on uh, Main Street. And um, there's the prison again. So if you're going to be able to see your home, it would, it would be in this slow pan here I'm doing. There's Main Street going up towards um, the depot restaurant. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of the courthouse clock and the roof of the building. Uh, here in uh, Robertson County. I'll look forward to reading your comments uh, below the video.